Today we're going to be installing a 12 volt DC outlet and two USB ports into my Coachman Freedom Express 254 DSX. We're doing this mostly so that when we're boondocking we're able to watch TV. Because this trailer for some reason has no DC outlets at all. The TV only works on AC power. So I want to install a DC outlet so I can put a small inverter in and plug my TV into that and watch TV. The USB ports are beneficial, charge up my phone, my watch, things like that when we're boondocking. So let's get started. So what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to install it in the uh, TV cut out here in an area that I can access um, from behind. Uh, what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to be tapping in to the power that goes to the stereo because the stereo runs on DC power. So if I tap into that power, I can uh, then run the USB ports and the uh, DC outlet. So now I'm just going to lift out the stereo and see how it looks in behind. Ooh, lots of wires. Set it up here. It's nice that every wire is labeled. And I see there's one 12 volt DC switched. And that's red. And the black one that says ground. So I'm going to take my multimeter. I'll put the red with the red. And the black with the black. Set it to 12 volts, and there it is, 13 volts, which is acceptable in a 12 volt system. I'm going to turn on the power in the stereo and see if that makes any difference. No difference in volts, so that means it has constant power. If you look in the back here, you can see where all the wiring comes through here. So I'm just going to go up here, and I'm going to put my outlets up there. And that will be right here in the uh, box that uh, houses the TV. So this is the kit that I purchased. It has USB, two of them, and 12 volt DC outlet. On the back shows obviously both have to be plugged in and it comes with the wires. So these ends just fit on here like that. And the other end is like this. I just need to cut those off, strip the wires down a little bit, and I can attach them to the uh, wires that are in the stereo already. The 12 volt DC switched and the ground wire. So what we have to do is go outside and undo the battery, unhook it completely. So we'll have a look at the front of this to see if there's any power to it. And there is. And it's working. That's because we're still plugged into shore power. Gotta unplug that. Something like that looks good to me. So these come with a fuse already, so that's very nice. Now we got to cut off these ends, we don't need these ends. Go. 
Okay, all done. So what I'm going to do is attach the wires to the back. So the red to the positive, black to the negative. Do that with both of them. The DC outlet and the USB. Red to positive. Black to negative. Put them through here. Pull them out the bottom. Now I got all the wires through. Let's put these in here. Hopefully they fit okay. They do. Now I have to feed the rings onto the back of them. So I have to feed that up through the wires. These two wires go to the same thing. have to screw on the back. Okay, so that's one. Take the other one. Okay, so there we go. Haven't screwed them in yet, but they're in place right now. Now it's time to do the wiring. So we take both reds. Put that on good and tight. And then do the black, the ground, okay. I'm going to go hook up the battery and see if we got power here. So now that I hooked up the battery, we're going to check this, see if there is power. And look at that. We have power. The USB outlets are all lit up, showing you got power. So all we have to do now, screw in the plate to hold it in place, plug the uh, radio back in, put it all back together, and we're done. Good, everything works. There, a little bit of cleanup. We're good to go. And there's the finished project. Let's see if it works. Just gonna charge up this loom cube that I've been using to give me some light here. And if it works, the red light will go on on the back of the loom cube. And there it is. It is charging. Awesome. Very quick, easy installation. Takes about half an hour to do. So now we'll test it out with the TV, which is the real purpose that I did this.
I have one of these little inverters and I plug the TV cord into it. Green light came on on the inverter. Let's turn on the TV. And there we go. It works. Now I'll be able to watch TV when I'm boondocking. So that's it. Another successful installation. And we'll see you next time on Bent Guy 516.